Hi, welcome to Clayground. My name's Karen and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a lemon cane using Cernit polymer clay. Okay, so let's make a lemon cane. The basis of this cane is made up using translucent clay. So what I've used is um, mainly translucent clay mixed with a little bit of white and what I've done is I've rolled the two colours together to mi and mix them and rolled them into a ball. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to be making a cylinder. So I'm just going to take this acrylic block here which is really helpful when shaping the clay into a cylinder. So I'm just pressing on the top, turning the clay over, pressing on the other side and then we want the sides to be rounded as well. So I'll just turn it on its side, give it a little rock backwards and forwards. This should take not very long at all. Just take a little bit of time and care just to get it right. So there's the cylinder. The word cane means a two-dimensional design inside a three-dimensional roll and the design goes through from one end to the other. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a, a sharp blade and we're going to cut down the centre of the cylinder. Just turn it over so you know that you've got it right down the centre. It is important that you, that you do get it evenly down the centre. Yep, that's right. This is going to be an eight segment lemon cane. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay that side down onto some white polymer clay that I've rolled out very thinly with a pasta machine or with a roller. But you do want to make sure that it's nice and thin. Put the two halves together and again I'm going to make another cut straight down the center nice and slowly and do exactly the same with the white just chopping around the edges there. Put those halves together and down the centre again. away the edges and this will be the last cut down center again onto the white Right, now what we need to do is just trim off any little bits that are actually sticking out. It's not too important, but just try and just take away the obvious bits that are sticking out here and there. Now what I've done is I've rolled out some more white. This is slightly thicker 
than the white that we use to separate the segments. And what I'm going to do now is to wrap the whole cane with this white. If it's not quite long enough, just give it a little stretch. You don't want it to overlap because this will be noticeable later on. So just make sure that the edges go together quite neatly. Either cut away these edges with the blade or just pull them away with your fingers. Take that all the way around. Just move that out of the way. And now with the same thickness, I'm going to wrap it again with some yellow. This is actually um, Cerny Lemon not yellow. Trim a little bit away there. Giving it a press and just take off the excess clay there. You can do exactly the same if you were doing a orange cane or even a lime using exactly the same method, obviously just using an orange for the orange and a, a green for the lime. Now the most important thing to do now is to squash it all together and reduce it down small. So. This process is really important. So what we need to do is we need to start pressing together from the middle and working our way towards the outer edge. So you will need to apply quite a bit of pressure here. So I'm pressing and I'm turning. This could take quite a few minutes to do, but it's worth spending that time. You, you just remember, you don't actually roll it just yet. A lot of people think that you just roll them down to get them small. And actually what you need to do is to press it all together firstly. Just remember that is important. And then towards the end, then you can start rolling it and rolling it into shape. The ends will go um, all messy like that and clay will bulge out here and there. But you'll see in a moment when we actually cut the cane in the centre that it's not lost its design and you have that nice lemon design inside. So lots of pressing here and little stretches. So I'm just going to give it a little roll now. I'm pressing down quite firm. Still applying more pressure to the centre and working my way outwards. So little stretches going on there too. I think what we'll do now is we'll have a little look in the centre. I'm going to take a sharp blade. You do need a sharp blade, else it will squash down the centre. 
just needs a little bit more squash in there. You can see there's a little tiny air bubble there. So obviously that means that I haven't squashed it together quite enough. So just a few more little squeezes. That should be okay. Just take off that end there. And there you go. There's one half. And we'll do this one as well. Just lots of little squeezes there, just to get rid of any air bubbles that are trapped inside. You can get these to go really, really small. You can use them for dolls' houses, or well, they look nice on jewellery. get this one to go a little bit smaller. As it gets smaller to keep its shape I like to use an acrylic block. Just take it backwards and forwards really slowly. in half and there you have your lemon canes.